Once again, welcome to Ask Chuck uh, webcast. Once a week while we're in session. We may be in session next week and then there may be two or three weeks without a webcast because we'll be home for uh, Christmas break and then there will be uh, a week that we're uh, going to be not in session so that we can work in our respective states uh, holding town meetings or whatever members might want to do. But I hope to hold uh, some town meetings and other meetings in Iowa uh, during that break because you know I get to each one of the 99 counties every year and I finish that before Labor Day and now I'm going to have to start over again in 2010 and I want to start over again uh, to make sure that I'm up on what people are saying at the grassroots uh, of Iowa. Uh, I thank you very much for emailing in your questions to Ask Chuck, uh, email, uh, Twitter, or Facebook. So I'll go immediately to your questions and thank you for your questions ahead of time uh, because this is how the process of representative government works. Rob from Des Moines tweets, <clears throat> where are the jobs? Where are they? Also, what is your favorite food? Well, my favorite food is uh, ice cream first, uh, beef second, and pork third. And I uh, eat a lot of all that probably too much ice cream uh, and uh, I'm glad that you want to know what my favorite food is because I'm glad to tell you. Uh, where are the jobs? Well, uh, this is what's wrong with Congress right now. Uh, we, uh, the number one issue out there way ahead of everything else is jobs and the economy. Uh, we're spending the last uh, month on health care and it's way down the list of what people think we ought to be doing. And so a lot of us have been making the point during the health care debate that we ought to be working on jobs. I was down to the White House last week to give my view on what the President should do about jobs. Number one, as he did a year ago, he announced that it wa there wasn't going to be a tax increase even though he ran in 2008 on increasing taxes. Uh, since he, he said there wouldn't be a tax increase in 2009 because of the recession. Well, the recession isn't going to be over in 2010, so he ought to announce once again that there won't be a tax increase. And then secondly, I suggested to him that uh, we need to do things with our free trade agreements because the United States, and Iowa is a good example of one of the 50 states that exports a lot, we're an exporting country. Uh, and uh, these agreements uh, would help us export a lot more, and jobs connected with exports are uh, good jobs paying 15 percent above the national average. But uh, one thing you've got to remember, Rob, in Des Moines, and that is that the government consumes wealth. Uh, it, it doesn't create wealth. And the only wealth that's created is by people like you out there in Des Moines uh, and uh, taking things out of the ground, out of our natural resources, and making something of it with your labor and with the fruits of your uh, ingenuity. And uh, that's how wealth is created. So what we have to do here in Washington is to create an environment so that jobs are created at the grassroots. And one of the president's suggestions that came out last week that I think will really be good because it's good for uh, small business, and that is zero capital gains for small business in startup businesses uh, where they keep their money invested at least five years. Zero capital gains will be an incentive for small businesses to start up and remember small businesses create 70 percent of the new jobs in America. Uh, now I go to a uh, Twitter uh, question from Daniel also in Des Moines. Is there anything online that shows the spending bills that was passed? You can get that on appropriations.senate.gov and right now the spending bill that was voted on Sunday afternoon will be on the front page of that uh, site. So I hope you go there and study it. It's a long bill. You'll go there and you'll find about 5,000 earmarks and the amount of money that's, uh, that those earmarks add up to. Uh, I'm not speaking against uh, individual projects only how individual projects are determined. 
I think the money should be appropriated to a bureaucracy uh, and people that are experts in these areas as opposed to politicians trying to take care of their constituencies ought to make peer review determinations of projects that are normally called pork uh, in the Congress because they're political as opposed to well thought out uh, projects uh, that uh, because of intellectually honesty as opposed to political power determine where the taxpayers money uh, is spent if it's going to be spent in, in localized areas. So uh, my uh, view of earmarks is uh, best expressed by my vote for the Dement Amendment. Senator Dement of South Carolina had an amendment up that was not passed, but I think he's going to continue to keep bringing it up, that uh, we shouldn't have earmarks in bills because that's political pork. It should be uh, appropriated lump sum uh, to the bureaucracies and then experts decide how uh, the money is spent. Uh, and then that takes the politics out of it and particularly it takes uh, the uh, authority that people on the Appropriations Committee have extraordinary power uh, to get an undue number of projects compared to those of us uh, that are not on. Now, if we have the DEMET bill, then it's a level playing field for all 50 states. But as long as we don't have the DEMET amendment adopted, uh, then I have uh, taken the practice of saying that Iowa is as good as the other 49 states, and if the other 49 states are going to have some earmarks, uh, then Iowa should have a chance because we pay taxes into the federal treasury. Bottom line of it is uh, that uh, we uh, send out, a, when people ask for earmark, we send a justification that's required by the Appropriations Committee. Uh, uh, sometimes I determine that projects shouldn't go forth to the Appropriations Committee, but most of the time I find myself saying uh, these projects for the most part are worthy. I send them on to the Appropriations Committee. The Appropriations Committee makes a determination which ones are funded or not funded. Uh, and uh, that will not keep me from going back uh, to uh, the support for the DeMint Amendment because I think that we'd be better off without the political pork, but if there's going to be political pork, uh, Iowa should get its uh, fair share. It's justified. Another thing that's very important to me is that nothing snuck in at the last minute, uh, that, uh, that it's available to the members uh, to go through the bills and know what we're voting on and not voting on. And it has a sponsor, and the sponsor's willing to say who it is. Like, for instance, if I would put a project in, it would have my name on it. It's not something I'm trying to hide. I'm going to continue work on the health reform bill. Uh, and uh, a lot of changes that are being suggested uh, by the majority that have not been made public yet. I have to study those to make a final determination on how, what they are. But for the most part, this bill increases taxes, increases premiums, takes $464 billion out of Medicare to hurt it for seniors, uh, and it doesn't do anything about health care inflation. So I think that that is not health care reform. Uh, I ask you to continue uh, next week if we're still in session. Yeah. Email, Facebook, or Twitter, uh, tweet your questions to me so I can continue to answer them. Those that uh, didn't get answered on this webcast will be answered uh, by mail. Thank you all very much.